Hello, everybody. It is Thursday, January 13th, 2022. Hope everyone's doing okay. We're getting a, the lightest little bit of drizzle, but this is what I do. I missed you guys a lot, so any weather we get, I like to do this. It's not much, you guys. I mean, it's really hardly anything, but a couple raindrops came down, and you guys know what that means. So we're gonna drive over by Bear Mountain. This is also gonna be kind of a snow update video so people can see what is remaining in the Big Bear proper. In the Big Bear proper, man. A lot of mercy. All right, man. That was an Australian Rastafarian. All right, man. Cheerio. <laughs> ah, we're gonna go straight here. We're gonna go straight here. Here's the zoo, you guys. We're gonna take the back way into Bear. But yeah, there's hardly any snow left in the city area. Right now it's 56 degrees. That's gotta be, I don't know, maybe close to a record for this time of year. The mountains look really beautiful though. Hang on, okay. guys. Okay. Okie dokie, autochokey. There's the golf course. Mike, the guy who's the superintendent there, the guy does such an amazing job working on that course, man. He's amazing. Great guy, too. So, you're seeing more snow because we're, we're headed into a neighborhood at a little bit higher elevation, and uh, this, they don't, they don't get too much direct sunlight over here because of all the trees. So a lot of these spots, like here on, on the left, it's just, it's not really being affected too much by the sun. Of course it's melting, but not nearly as bad as like just a half a mile away at my house. So this is still Moonridge Road, you guys. And it's gonna turn into gold mine. As I always tell you guys, I love these houses right there. I had a really good friend, Paul, and his wonderful wife, unfortunately, I think X now. It's just so sad, man. It's so sad. Okay. Very sad. Here's the old zoo. But here's, here's Bear Mountain to the left. Looks like a bunch of people are charging, having a good time. So we're just gonna stop here for a second. We're not gonna be obstructing any traffic. So you guys can see, still no one behind us. Let's zoom in a little bit. This is awesome. Super awesome sauce. I like to play golf when we're golfing during the season. It's closed right now, as you guys can imagine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, now we are turning on to Club View. So Bear Mountain is at the cross streets of, of Club View and Gold Mine, or Moon Ridge and Gold Mine. A little trick for you guys, which typically works, take take Moon Ridge if you're coming up during a, like a very uh, packed time when you're trying to get to the resort. Come up, go go up the way that I just came. Because if you go this direction, typically from where this red truck is coming this way, it's going to be pretty bad. Those of you who have been watching, at least since I've since I worked at Bear Mountain. I don't know if, if you guys remember, I would ride my other little motorcycle to, uh, to work in the snow sometimes. Seriously, this ground would be totally white and I'd be riding the motorcycle like such a tool. Such a tool. Yeah, 
Yeah, I miss you guys. I miss you guys a lot. I thought by now we'd be getting some more storms. But we are getting a tad bit of drizzle. I mean, the littlest bit of drizzle you can imagine. Some drizzle bizzle. Drizzle hizzle. Drizzle in the hizzle snizzle. That's the zoo. That is the zoo, folks. I haven't been into the new zoo yet. One of our friends on this channel, Gabriel, got me an annual pass. And speaking of Gabriel, you guys, I, th I think I mentioned it, but maybe I didn't. He brought me, he and, and his wife last week brought me a bunch of tamales that she makes every year for Christmas. And so, I mean, what, a, what an unbelievable blessing. These things are so freaking good. Dude, tell Nora, unbelievable job. She did a great job, dude. I mean, they're always good, but it was exceptional this this season. Like, holy crap. I didn't think they, they could get any better, dude. Like, really good job. They drove all the way up here just to give them to me. Like, how cool is that? Anyway, all right. We are on Moonridge Road. We're gonna go drive by Snow Summit a little bit if possible. Just so you guys can get the view of both resorts. But yeah, this is kind of sad. There's hardly any snow left. The mountains have good snow, you guys. Don't worry about that. They have terrific snow. Hang on just a quick second. So I was gonna turn around and head back this way on Moonridge Road, but we're not gonna do that because I want you guys to see what it's like driving the main roads to get to where you need to go because I know you all are not gonna remember these shortcuts that, that I attempt to show you. And that some of the locals get mad at me for that. It's like, geez, I'm just trying to help them out for Pete's sake. So we're gonna go down Brownie. This isn't really like a shortcut, but I guess it kind of is. It just runs parallel to Big Bear Boulevard. And this is known as the Brownie lot for Snow Summit, which is the overflow parking. Overflow. Here guys, just till maybe two or two or three days ago, it was still pretty icy right around here. You gotta be really careful at nighttime guys, all this wet stuff, this is gonna freeze at night. So just cause we haven't had any snow in a couple weeks, do not let that tr tr uh, trick you guys. I know there game, it's not gonna work with me. Um, for those of you still watching this far in, I thought I would tell you guys a little bit about my personal stuff, what's going on. Because I, man, a lot of you really do care, and that's just unbelievably awesome to me. So thank you. I've been on my Prozac for like six and a half weeks or something like that now, and I just started noticing something a few days ago where I'm, I'm not as miserable as I was. Yeah, I'm gonna ask ask this guy. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna go into the parking here. I hope I'm allowed to to go through here. So here's Snow Summit, you guys. I know you can't really see it from here. This isn't much of a view. But this place is freaking packed. Holy parking lot. Jeez. Hope everybody's having fun up here. We love it. We love having you guys up here. Just remember, there's a bit of traffic on, uh, what's up guys? There's a bit of traffic coming up here, guys. Um, they're doing road work on Highway 18, which really stinks. As I said, I don't know why they don't do it at nighttime. They have all these spotlights that you see all these freeway crews using at night, but it's like, there's so many people up here that have to commute up and down the mountain. And it's, it's just a nightmare. 
It's just a nightmare. Well, let's see here. Hey, easy there, tiger. All right. Yeah, so not much snow left anywhere really in town except for the ski resorts and some of the neighborhoods in Upper Moon Ridge, especially the ones that don't get a lot of sunlight. So we're leaving Snow Summit now. I'm, I'm sorry we couldn't get any closer today. I'm sorry about that, guys. That's on the outside, damn it. Damn it, Janet. But yeah, so I've been taking those for like six and a half weeks or something like that now. And uh, I think it, it's starting to have a little bit of an impact. It's weird because I'll start thinking of, of those sad things that really bother me. And then it's, it's as if I can't fully feel those feelings as much anymore. And at one point I was like, wow, this like kind of sucks, <laughs> you know, like even though it's a good thing, but it's like, I want to be able to feel every emotion that I'm going through. I just want to learn how to deal with it better. That's all. So we're going to turn left here on Brownie again. And we're going to go out towards the village, the village, huh? the villaggio. We're going to the villaggio. The big bear village. Hey, nice white Subaru, just like mine, huh? It's a nice one, huh? Okay, so, damn it, I didn't want to have to take the main streets, but I told you guys I would so you guys can see what it's like, so that's what we're gonna do. Then we're gonna drive through the village and then come back. I just want you guys to get the basic little tour of what's going on here. All right. Okay, man. Okay. Tony Montana, man. It's okay. Oh, I could go, but I won't. I could, but I won't. Dang it, I almost had it. Hope all of you are doing great. I'm telling you, man, this life is a struggle. Life is a struggle every single day. And we're all dealing with it. I just wish uh, I had better ways to deal with it instead of, uh, you know. I stopped taking all my medicines, guys, that were not good. Um, for, I think a lot of you know that I'm, I'm a recovering alcoholic and a newly recovering addict. Um, I used to take some pain medications, guys, for many years, just until about a month and a half ago. And I had to stop taking that too because I was willing to do whatever it takes to feel better. So I've stopped that. I even stopped with uh, the green, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know what's going on with me regarding that, but I've stopped that for over a month now. I stopped drinking caffeine at the same time. For the first couple weeks, it was miserable. But I didn't think it had anything to do with like caffeine withdrawals, but I think it, it actually may have. Um, yeah, but I'm being really blunt, really honest with you guys, because if a guy like me can get through it, I know it hasn't been that long, but if a guy like me can do it, anybody can. And I know a lot of people out there struggle. And it's not that we're bad people. You guys know it's not because we're bad people. We just want to feel better. We want to feel good in our own skin. And for me, doing that was taking the pain medications. And it, it, it was it was just a vicious cycle. I'm, I'm tired of it. Guys, one of the best restaurants in town. I'm telling you guys, that is one of the most, that's one of the best restaurants in town, Cafe Grape. Alright, we're turning into the village now. As you guys can, as you guys can see, like most of the snow is just remaining in parking lots and stuff like that, and where it's been piled up. But there's really not much. 
the village will give you guys a good a good a good look. They try to take care of the sidewalks and whatnot, especially in the village. So you're probably not going to see too much snow in here. But uh, yeah. Anyway, you guys, I'm telling you, you don't have to live that life. You don't have to live miserable. And once again, that's coming from a guy who that's all I did. Nobody would have known that I was taking those, nobody. And I was taking a lot, you guys, every single day, every day. But I'm very productive, I get stuff done. Um, I work hard. So, I always justified it like that, but literally, to be even more honest, why I, why I stopped that, the pain medications, was because my kidneys and my liver were starting to hurt. Every time I would take them, and that scared me. That really scared me. So when I went to the ER for those panic attacks and, and whatnot, um, they did a CAT scan and I was so scared, but they said everything looks good and I broke out in the biggest bunch of tears you'd ever see. Basically telling, telling myself I got one more chance. I don't know how it's possible, but I got one more chance. And so that's what I ended up doing is stopping. But it took me, like, I'm the guy who has to learn, like, uh, um, learn lessons the hard way. Okay, are, are you, are you, are you, are you going to cross? I have to learn the hard way, and it's very sad. And this time, I felt like I, I got away with, I got away with it without, you know, having severe damage done, so... I don't know guys, I wish those of you who are struggling out there as well, I wish you absolute love, I wish you harmony, I wish you strength to get through what you're going through. As I said, once I'm fully through all this crap I'm going through, I will always be here for you guys. But just, just like they say on airplanes, put the oxygen mask on yourself so you're able to help others. I need to be able to breathe really, really clear and just full breaths before I, I even attempt to give any advice and I need to follow my own advice. I know the advice to give, I, I really do. It's just sometimes it's, it, it was really hard to follow that advice, my intentions are good. But seriously, I freaking love you guys so much. I miss you guys so much. As I said, there were just a couple raindrops but literally, I mean, they're raindrops and that's what I do. The further you go this way into town, or in, uh, if, if we would have stayed straight, there's more snow out there. But most of you aren't going to be staying on that side of town. You'll probably be staying over in this area. But you'll definitely be driving through that part. It's amazing, just down the lake a little bit, there's a decent amount of snow left. But once again, a lot of that area because it's right up against the mountain, doesn't really get a whole bunch of sunlight each day. At least not a whole bunch of direct sunlight. Then, I always remind you guys about my friend's shop, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. He is just an incredible, incredible dude. He owns two of these shops, and the second one I always end up driving by without pointing it out, so I'm gonna point it out this time. All right, so this is their new store in Big Bear Lake coming up here on the right hand side next to Sandy Sports Bar. In this shopping center right here where it says zip line action stuff, his shop is right there next to the tattoo shop. As I said, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. And if you guys tell him that I sent you, I, I think he'll give you guys a percentage off. So, and I don't get anything from him. I don't ask him for discounts or nothing like that. I, I just don't want to do that. I send people there because I know that I would never lead you guys astray or send you guys in the wrong direction. He doesn't charge any more than stores down the hill charge. So 
One thing you'll notice in Big Bear is most of the stores up here, God bless them, charge a usurious amount. Just a crazy amount. Because they figure they're not going to drive all the way down the mountain just to save 10 bucks. So it's a very easy upsell. So that's why I always suggest that place. And then there's the Big Bear Smoke and Vape over in Big Bear City, which is pretty, that's a huge store. That's his main store. As I said, it's not just smoke and vape stuff, you guys. He's got trinkets and big bear stuff. Just they've got a, they've got a lot of cool stuff there. And the guy deserves all the help that he can get. He's a great husband, a great father. I, I never have anything bad that I can even say about him. He's very helpful made me feel welcome in this town when I first moved up here seven and a half years ago. Because um, I was in a, in a pretty rough spot when I first moved up here, but it wasn't as bad as my depression for the past like six months to one year. And those of you who saw me golfing a couple times when I made a couple videos, like it, it may have seemed like I, I wasn't feeling too down on my life back then but keep in mind guys I, I was taking something that made me feel good that made me get through anything and unfortunately it's not legal and uh, you know I, I there, where there's a will there's a way and I finally got my will through being through a, a bunch of suffering so I'm over the suffering I don't want to suffer anymore but I'm overtaking something that I really shouldn't take to feel better. Prozac is different. I'm, I'm not getting any type of euphoria from that. And honestly, for the first three or four weeks of that, guys, it felt like I was getting worse and worse. And I was told, do not stop taking it. Because crazy enough, you can become suicidal, I guess, if you cut those off cold turkey. Just like for those of you taking benzodiazepines, same thing. If you cut those off cold turkey, it can make you suicidal. And I, so even though I was not feeling right at all, I just kept on, kept on taking them, kept on taking them. And I think, I think I'm starting to feel some, some difference. The love you guys show me with all the beautiful comments and all the respect shown, um, man, truly incredible. I am one of the most blessed people ever to have that much love in my life. But it took me so long to even really believe it and accept it into my heart because I just thought you guys were being really nice to me. And because a lot of you were really nice. So I just thought, well, they're not gonna say something mean and hurt my feelings. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm super grateful for you guys. I'm super grateful for you guys. I got to, to meet one of you guys about a week ago, Tango, as you guys know. Man, that was that was an incredible meet and greet. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. That brought down my walls quite a bit when it comes to meeting new new people on this channel because not that I don't want to, of course I want to, but I was just so nervous. Just so ridiculously nervous. And my anxiety was killing me. I just didn't understand why, but man. Tango, thank you for saying what, what you said to me. And thank you for the freaking monster donation, dude. Un, un, it's just unbelievable. I really appreciate it, man. Anyway, guys, we're coming to the end of the road here. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. It's Thursday the 13th, I believe is what I said earlier, of January 2022. I love you guys a lot. Take care, and thank you again for everything. Thanks for saving my life, you guys. You really did.